All right, we're ready to go. How are you guys doing today? Good day. Good day? All right. Well, thank you all for joining us here. Uh, we were going to, I was going to say today, thank you all for joining us here at Creekport Park. Obviously, it's too frosty for that, so we're here in St. Louis County. Uh, for generations, St. Louis has enjoyed national recognition for its strong soccer heritage. From 1907, when our region was the home of the St. Louis Soccer League, the nation's only professional soccer organization, through 1950, when five St. Louisans were starters on the U.S. World Cup team that whipped the heavily favored English squad. And in the decades since, as we cheered for the Stars, the Billikens, the Steamers, the Ambush, uh, the Athletica, and the St. Louis FC. And now the time has come for us to renew our claim to the title of America's soccer capital. To that end, I am proud to announce that St. Louis County will open a state-of-the-art destination soccer complex in Creve Core Park next year. This complex will feature 14 lighted artificial turf fields. One of them, a championship field, with seating for 500 spectators and gated parking for 1,500 vehicles. The county undertook a feasibility study that indicates such a facility would attract clubs and spectators throughout the state and the country and host 21 major tournaments every year. We expect that these tournaments will draw over 130,000 visitors a year, generate 39,000 room nights annually at nearby hotels, and produce about $8 million a year in net economic impact for our region. Construction of this facility will require no new taxes. The Convention and Visitors Commission will cover the $14 million cost. The revenue generated at the complex will cover all operating costs, including maintenance and field replacements. And the complex would create about 70 jobs. Ultimately, this facility will put St. Louis County back at the forefront of soccer in America. And I'm going to introduce to you uh, one of our councilmen, uh, the chairman of the council this year, Michael Mara. And I want to, before I introduce him and bring him up, and actually I guess he's going to move about three feet this way, uh, before he comes this way, I want to tell you this started years ago with Mike. And this was a project that he has had in his heart and his mind for years. And uh, I was very happy to work with him in bringing this to fruition. And, uh, you know, you have to give credit where credit is due. And this is uh, Mike's project. He started this. And I'm just really happy to be able to cooperate with him, coordinate with him, and uh, bring this to all of you today. Michael? Thank you. I appreciate it. You taking the ball and running with this this project. Well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> might not make you juggle or, or do anything that uh, well, I appreciate put you out of active duty as a county executive. But once again, county executive, really appreciate uh, uh, taking this project. It, and it, it's all about St. Louis County and, and our parks and recreational youth and, and the use of it for our for our our community it's going to it's going to be dynamic i mean look at the look at the folks that have shown up here uh, between the men and women's program that we have in, in st louis region uh, we're going to be back on the map uh and hopefully uh this will be another step further to uh, uh gaining a professional uh soccer team and uh, stadium here in the, in the st louis region i want to thank uh kitty radcliffe for the convention and visitors commission and uh, uh ken tucci was very helpful and uh, helping with the finance part of, the, of this project, uh, it, it has been in uh, in place for uh, uh, you know the mindset for uh, a few years now. As we, as we speak, we've met as a little group, just a little soccer gurus uh, uh, at a table, and my son was part of it. Uh, Tommy Billicky, uh Pete Sorber, one of my coaches, uh, uh, Johnny Hayes, and uh, Paul Thompson, a buddy of mine. We sat around. What can we do? Uh, for this community because everybody else around the country is developing soccer uh, and we are the capital of soccer in, uh, in, in the United States and I was fortunate enough to play under Harry Keogh, one of the greatest that played in that game that Steve Stanner was talking about, defeat the English. So I've been very fortunate. Um, I'd like to give back to uh, uh, the soccer that has been very uh, kind to me and uh, you know, kind to my family. Uh, and, and you meet a lot of friends along the way. Uh, but with that, um, 
kind of executive, this, this is great. This is going to be great for St. Louis County. It's going to be great for the region. It's going to be great for soccer in general. And we look forward to it. And I want to thank all the, uh, the people out there, the, the Popoviches with uh, uh, Luke Hughes, Bob Schneider with uh, JB Marine, um, Pat Berry with with Scott Gallagher and you had Jim Cavanaugh and Tom Strunk with Worldwide Technology that stuck with this project from day one. Uh, very instrumental in, in making soccer very successful here in St. Louis and all the volunteers that coach day in and day out and give back to what they uh, obtain throughout the years as soccer players. So once again, this is great for uh, St. Louis County and County Executive and everybody else involved in this, in this uh, project. I, I'm only part of it and we're going to make it work and we're going to back on the map here, so thank it. you. You got it. I've never been to All right, well, I'm going to hold on to the ball. Uh, next, we have Sam Page. Sam Page is a county councilman in St. Louis County, and this development will be happening in his district. So Sam would like to come up and say a few words. Sam, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I am new to this project. I've been on the council a couple of years, but um, I do want to thank all of you for making this uh, reality in my district and, and uh, the second county council district. I want to thank the CBC and, um, and everyone who supported youth soccer over the years in, in, uh, in our region. And I especially want to thank County Executive Steve Stinger for his leadership for bringing this idea that's been around for a while and, and finally bringing it to, uh, to where we are today. Um, I know this is going to be a real gem in my district, this uh, destination complex, and a real gem for everyone in St. Louis County. But I want to talk about uh, some of the other benefits for our, our youth. And um, as a physician, as a medical doctor, I understand what youth sports does for our kids. Um, not only are our kids healthier, they do better in school, but as they grow older, they will be healthier as adults. So this is a real opportunity for us to promote healthy lifestyles, and, um, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, you'll um, you'll see what this does for our region here. You, you see uh, you see Mike's dream that he's been working on, and I'm just so excited that this is my district, and I'm I'm able to be a part of it. But this will teach uh, our youth the values of commitment, of tenacity, of teamwork, and um, and that's what we want our children to grow up with. That's what we want our children to be a part of. Not just the jobs and the economic benefit but the healthy lifestyle that you all bring every day, and, and we thank you for it, for the coaches and the organizers of the Youth League, and for all of us that are gonna be part of something very big here in St. Louis County. Thanks again. Thanks, Sam. Okay, thank you, Sam. And we're also joined today by Pat Dolan, uh, Chairman Emeritus of the St. Louis <laughs> County Council. Thank you. Thank you for all the support the project. We really appreciate you being here, Pat. I uh, want to also uh, bring up to the podium uh, Kitty Radcliffe. Uh, we owe Kitty a special thank you for uh, pulling together the funding for us so we can make this regional asset a reality in St. Louis County. And uh, without your partnership in this endeavor, it wouldn't be possible. Would you like to come forward and say a few words? We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you County Executive. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure to be here with you today and with Councilman Romero and his passion for the project um, and our other elected officials and members of the County Council and most particularly to be here with all of the soccer enthusiasts in this region. Uh, we have a great passion for soccer and a great history for soccer and um, you'll hear probably more about that from uh, Mr. Soccer himself, Mr. McDermott. Um, my gig is tourism. What I do on a daily basis is try to figure out how to use the assets of our region to attract more visitors to our region. And um, we do that for the money that they bring to the community, the jobs that are created, and the economic activity that occurs as a result. Um, County Executive Stanger mentioned that we're providing the funding for this. It's not exactly true. We, are, we approved the funding for it, but the funding is actually provided by a hotel tax that visitors to St. Louis County pay. So the funding for this is actually being provided by visitors for the purposes of attracting more visitors to our community. And so when you heard County Executive Stanger talk about the fact that it will attract more than 100,000 new visitors to our region, well, that's something that we get excited about. Because when they come, they not only stay in hotel rooms and generate more taxes for other projects, 
but they also eat in our restaurants and stop and put gas in their cars at our gas stations and do all of the other things that visitors to our community do. Um, and when they come for soccer tournaments, they come as families. They bring lots of kids and parents and they're looking for other activities. So they also visit our other area tracks <coughs> while they're here for the long weekend. Our team works with the Scott Gallagher Club in particular for a lot of the tournaments that they do in this region. There are a number of those that are coming up here in April and May, and they use hotels throughout the region, not just in St. Louis County and not just in St. Louis City, but in the entire metro area, working with all of the soccer complexes around the region to attract a lot of visitors to come to St. Louis who would never come in the first place. So we are very excited to support this project and very much looking forward to seeing it happen. Thank you. We also have the pleasure of having Bill McDermott here, Mr. Soccer. And uh, Bill, would you like to come forward? Sure, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank Thank you. County Executive. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, I'd like to single out Mike O'Mara. If he just spoke with you, uh, you know how much he has been involved in this project. He is indeed the prime mover on this project, so I want to single out Michael Mara again, and I'd also like to congratulate him on winning the Masters. But it is it is an exciting time. Thank you. But it's a real exciting time for soccer here in our country, and in keeping with some recent headlines, uh, equally exciting, obviously, for the sport here in St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis FC. Is about to begin its second season in the USL. They start training next Wednesday. Uh, the St. Louis Ambush continues to entertain uh, indoor soccer fans. And current talk, there's current talk of the possibility, possibility of an MLS team coming here to St. Louis. Now, whatever happens with that, who knows? There's countless scenarios that have to be, have to take place before that does indeed happen. But at least St. Louis is in the conversation. But today's announcement is huge. This is enormous because it puts St. Louis even further back on the national soccer map. A soccer destination complex to accommodate local, regional, and yes, even national tournaments. Now, in conjunction with existing nearby venues at Lou Fuse, St. Louis Scott Gallagher, this is a total overall economic benefit to St. Louis County. 13 lighted fields. 14 lighted fields, excuse me, coming executive. Two youth sized, one championship field to accommodate seating for 500 in bleachers. 13,000 field hours at the epicenter, which is already and exists as youth soccer participation. 21 tournaments a year, over 132,000 people in attendance. 39,000 room nights at area hotels. That's within the first three years of this venue opening. After this complex gains more name equity, more popularity, it'll have more regional and a national identity, the demand is expected to nearly double in five years. Visitors will come from Chicago, Kansas City, Cedar Rapids, Indianapolis, Memphis, Louisville, all <coughs> current soccer hotbeds coming to the United States very first soccer capital. You've heard me say this before, I'll go on ad nauseum about this. Any degree of popularity, recognizability, awareness, or a newfound cachet that the sport of soccer enjoys today in our country is directly attributable to what St. Louis started way back on the weekend of May 29th and 30th, 1875, when the very first soccer game was played here in St. Louis at the old Grand Avenue ballpark. Youth soccer in St. Louis has always been an immense part of our sporting culture. And now, as we've been explaining for decades to countless people, especially here in St. Louis, this is no longer a cause. It's business. It's big business. And in this case, a project with a net economic impact of perhaps over $8 million yearly. So on behalf of anyone who's ever touched, kicked the soccer ball here in St. Louis County, we congratulate the City of St. Louis overall, St. Louis County, County Executive, and the Visitors and uh, Commission for all the work they've done on this venue. And given the overall current climate of soccer here in the Midwest and around the country, this is clearly a case of, if you build it, they will indeed come. So thank you, County Executive, for allowing me. Thank you. Thank you.
that'll wrap up our presentation. If uh, anyone would like to ask questions, we're, we're here to answer them. And we have uh, Sheila Sweeney from the Economic Development Partnership here. Sheila, you want to come forward and maybe they may have some questions. And we also have Gary Best, Director of Parks here. Gary, come on up. I have a question for Ms. Ratcliffe. Sure. Uh, can you say, tell me or tell us when, when the, the, the CBT approved this? Or when it was, did the board approve it and when it was approved? Yes. Uh, can you board, the podium for me? Oh, thanks. Uh, repeat the question. The question well, was, well, well, when did the, when and how did, yeah, the, did the Convention Visitors Commission when, when approve it? it? Yes. Uh, the Convention Visitors Commission board held a special meeting at the end of December. And, um, and approved it at that time. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a park district uh, organization then, or who will run the facility and manage all the tournaments? Gary, would you like to answer? Yeah, the facility will be... Yeah, yeah, go to the oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the facility will be owned and operated by St. Louis County. Uh, we'll be looking at hiring somebody who is experienced in this type of work. It's a complicated job. Uh, the person who holds this job will have to basically generate about $2 million a year with this facility at the full capacity. So we're not just looking for somebody who's a good soccer player. We're looking for somebody who's a good businessman that can make this work. Did you guys model this off of any other communities uh, complex or talk to any other convention or CDCs about you know, putting something like this together? Is it unprecedented? Yeah, yeah basically uh, HBS, a nationally recognized uh, firm that does feasibility studies for facilities of this nature, looked at 21 other cities in the United States that offer similar type uh, programs, facilities, etc. Uh, they also looked at 10 other facilities uh, that are comparable to St. Louis in terms of population and income. And the study told us that St. Louis is a viable market, a good market. In fact, the St. Louis area has one of the largest populations or the largest population of soccer players in the state of Missouri. So the market is ripe, the market is good and the venue is comparable to other successful operations, uh, not only in the country, but within the region, if you will. Does this have any connection at all with what possibly Mr. Kroenke might do with building a soccer stadium and all that stuff? In no, Maryland? this has actually been in the, in the conceptual <laughs> stage for a very long time, for years now. And uh, it's been contemplated as coming for a long time. So that was a much more, I think, recent development yeah. that uh, you know we, we really, frankly, didn't even know about. Can Councilman O'Mara talk about sort of the process, how we got here today? I know that there were some proposals for other areas that, and now we're, we're moving this to, to Creek Corps. Can you sort of summarize how this all, how the idea came uh, about and how it's grown sure, to I'll, this project? I'll go through some quick steps. Once again, uh, there was a small group of, group of us, uh, I guess they'd been to a regional tournament uh, in another part of the country and and uh, came to me and said, you, know, you ought to see this, uh, what this complex is all about and um, the attraction is and the kind of teams and players and and uh, so that was kind of the, uh, the beginning stages and we put a small group together, sat at the table uh, together and put some ideas together and then uh, we started figuring out, uh, uh, second step was uh, uh, getting the feasibility study, uh, and then uh, and then it got it became political, and it, it kind of got put on the back burner, and then uh, kind of Executive Stanger knew this was a a good opportunity for St. Louis County, um, and then we went uh, uh, for the help of how we we're going to fund this thing without uh, uh, going to the taxpayers, and he put together a pretty good plan with uh, uh, the Convention and Visitors Center and the Commission. Uh, that will make the, uh, the tourists, those that come to uh, come to these venues, they'll be the <coughs> ones uh, uh, financing this, this project. So that's kind of the short of the long, but uh, it, it's, it's been a good four years that we're in the making, and uh, it's come to fruition now, and uh, we're excited, and uh, 
and once again, it's it's great for the soccer community, not only soccer uh, men and women, but uh, St. Louis County. It's, it's it's a great park, and uh, we have many great parks, and it's just a uh, an avenue that we can have a, a good youth program here in, in one of our great parks, many great parks that we have in St. Louis County. And, and then. You know, Mike is being humble and saying that he is no stranger to soccer. He's wearing that green jacket, not, not because he won the game, <laughs> but because he's a Hall of Fame soccer player and a professional, former professional soccer player with the Steamers, if I'm correct in that, right, mm -hmm. Michael? An excellent player and someone who understands soccer and, frankly, someone who came up with a fantastic and phenomenal idea to better our community. And uh, I'm really proud to be working with him on this. And I just, I just think it's fantastic for the community. It's a great day for St. Louis County, and it's a great day for soccer. Thank you. It really is. Thanks, Michael.